Good morning. This is Kasturi Dev. Today, again, I've come to discuss the short and long questions of this uh, sound chapter according to ICC syllabus class 8. Okay. So, uh, I was discussing about these type of questions in my last video. So, I'll continue with that. So, today's question I'm starting with reflection of sound. Uh, first is the incident wave, the reflected wave and the normal at the point of incidence lie on the same plane like that of the light. Okay, the incident ray in the light, uh, the first uh, law was that incident ray, reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie on the same plane. Here also the incident wave, reflected wave and the normal at the points of incidence lie on the same plane. Second law is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection reflection like that of light. So, uh, these two laws of reflection are almost uh, are similar to that of the light. Okay. Then name three different materials which reflect sound. Three materials which reflect sound are mirror, metal, any kind of metal and then building. Then name three different materials which absorb sound. Absorb sound are uh, the materials which absorb sound are curtains, then gunny bags, then straws, they all absorb sound. Then what do you understand by the term echo? Echo is a repetition of sound. Okay, It is the repetition of sound which is reflected from a hill or a high rise building. Okay, that should be a reflecting surface which will reflect that sound. When the distance between the source and the reflecting surface is at least 17 meters. Okay. And the sound in is loud enough to come back to the ear after reflection. Okay. So, two conditions are required for uh, the time uh, for the echo. One is the distance between the source and the reflecting surface should be 17 meters, at least 17 meters. It can be more than that, but not less than that. And the sound should be loud enough so that it comes back to the ear after reflection. Okay, so these two criteria has to be uh, fulfilled to form an echo and it is a repetition of sound. Okay. So, echo is a repetition of sound which is reflected from a high rise building or a hill Okay, when the distance between the reflecting uh, surface and the source of the sound is at least 17 meters and the sound is loud enough so that it can reaches the, reach the human ear after reflection. Okay, that is not echo. Now, what is sonar? Sonar is a device which is fitted in the sea, getting a sea going ships rather. It is fitted in the ships which are uh, moving in the sea to find the depth of the sea. Okay. Now, to what use sonar is put? Explain clearly. First is sonar is used to navigate or communicate with or detect objection or under the surface of the water objects which are on the un, or or under the surface of the water okay the sonar is used to it it is used to navigate or communicate with the uh, objects which are inside on the water or and under the surface of the water it is based on the principle of echo that is reflection reflection of sound here it is not echo it is a reflection of sound it is based on the principle of reflection of sound from one point ultrasonic vibrations are sent from one point these ultrasonic how it is done that is that so from one point these ultrasonic vibrations are sent and these vibrations after striking the sea uh, bed they get reflected upward okay at um, another uh, and are picked up by the sonar that device which is attached to the ship or uh, at another point okay now the time in which the reflecting reflected sound is received and uh, is recorded okay and knowing the speed of the sound in water that is 1500 meter per second speed of sound in water is 1500 meter per second and knowing that speed the time taken for the for the reflected sound to reach the sonar that time is uh, found out that is time is noted that is how long it will take uh, for a sound which is uh, pro, uh, which is uh, transmitted from one source on the sea to uh, to the seabed and it again it's coming uh, to the ship uh, uh, receiving by the sonar that is so the time is no
So that time is used and the speed of the sound is used to find the depth of the uh, uh, C. Okay. So this is how the sonar is used. For example, see if it is taken 2.4 seconds to receive it takes that is 2.4 second to receive the reflected sound that is for 1.2 second the sound must have traveled downward and another 1.2 second it is coming up it traveled up it takes to uh, takes the sound to travel upward okay so speed of the sound in water that is taken uh, uh, that is speed of, uh, is equal to distance by time so speed of the sound in water is 1500 meter per second distance we need to find out and the time uh, for for uh, the sound from the source to the reflected surf reflecting surface that is to the seabed that is 1.2 second okay so that gives the distance that is 1800 meters so depth of the sea is 1800 meters okay now we come to some of the numericals okay so first one two waves of the same pitch have amplitudes in the ratio of one is to three what will be the ratio of their loudness and the pitch loudness is equal to we know amplitude square square of the amplitude so the ratio of the amplitude is given that is a1 by a2 a1 by a2 it is given 1 by 3 so l1 by l2 will be a1 square by a2 square that will be equal to by 9 so loudness ratio will be 1 is to 9 and as the pitch is the same so it will be 1 is to 1 okay then Sonar, uh, uh, Sonali, say Sonali, a person heard sound of thunderbolt. Five seconds she saw flash of lightning. How far is she from the place where lightning occurs? Speed of the sound in air, if we know that is 330 meter per second, that's given. Now, so distance of Sonali from the place of lightning, that is equal to S into T, that is speed into time the speed we know in air that is 330 meter per second that is given and the time taken for the thunderbolt to be heard by sonali that is 5 seconds so 330 into 5 that gives 1650 meters uh, away from the that is the distance of uh, sonali from lightning place that is 1650 meters now oscillates 40 times in 4 seconds find its time period in frequency number of oscillations we know it's given that 40 times so time taken is 4 seconds okay. so time period is equal to time by number of oscillations so what is the time period time uh, uh, number of times that is 40 uh, a number of oscillations that is 40 and 4 seconds is the time so 4 by 40 will be equal to 1 by seconds. so time period is equal to 0 0.1 seconds okay i'm sorry it is the frequency which we are finding out it's not the time period time period is given as 4 seconds okay time period is given as 4 seconds okay so uh um uh, Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. Again, so I'm sorry. The number of oscillations is 40. So, time period will be uh, uh, 0.1 second. Frequency, I need to find out. I've forgotten, but I'll tell you. Frequency is equal to 1 by time period. So, frequency will be equal to uh, 1 by 0 0.1 seconds. Okay, that will be equal to frequency. That will be equal to uh, uh, 1 by 10. That is 1 by herds okay now uh, the sound form of mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wing at an average rate of 500 vibrations per second what is the time period of the vibration number of vibrations per second is equal to 500 that's given then a uh, time period is by number of vibrations 1 by 500 that it will give you to 0 0.002 seconds okay here only the time period then two waves uh, have frequencies 256 hertz and 512 hertz but same amplitude compare their loudness and pitch 
so same amplitude so loudness will be same so the amplitude of the two waves is the same therefore loudness will be is equal to 1 is to 1 ratio then pitch pitch because the frequencies are different so uh, f1 by f2 will be equal to p1 by p2 so p1 by p2 will be equal to 256 that is uh, f1 and uh, f2 is 512 so 256 by 512 that will give it to 1 is to 2 uh, ratio okay this is the end of this chapter sound chapter that is remaining in this physics uh, uh, for this class 8 is electricity i'll discuss uh, uh, i'll start uh, this chapter uh, in my next video before that i'll be uh, giving you some do you know science facts okay so uh, please go through this if you have any doubt any questions any suggestions you want to give please do write in the and uh, uh, please tell me are you liking the videos um, if you are liking it please do press the like button and do subscribe to, so that you can get the notification of my next videos and also that will uh, produce me some uh, enthusiasm and energy so that i can produce you some more good videos for you that can help you in your studies okay and i'll as i'm telling you from the last few videos that i'll be launching a website soon that will contain more information about your subjects and many other uh, different interesting facts will be there so uh, please wait for that and and thank you for watching